Welcome to another delicious edition of the Let's Dine Out Show. This is not scripted. I'm food critic Alan Borgen, the food whisperer. And I'm Izzy Bussy, I'm a foodie with an attitude. Who also likes to text, so. First, we had Sierra Noodle House. You know, Sierra Noodle House is really, really different. Um, my friend Jean told me about it along with Jackie. And um, what's interesting about it, it's like a tour of Asia. You got Vietnamese, Chinese, Japanese, and Thai, all the different influences. It's like the best of each cuisines here. And it's just amazing the menu, how big it is. But then it's the decor and the atmosphere. Yeah, it's very festive and um, it's very kind of trendy, I would say, but it has the traditional like um, red lan lanterns everywhere. Also, there's a bar, so they serve all kinds of nice mixed drinks. And then if you walk in, you can smell this place. Oh my gosh, I wish it could translate through the TV, but you could smell it. It just makes you want mouth water. Yeah, and the drinks, they have boba, beer, and wine, and all kinds of little cocktails. The other thing is I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. In all my years of doing reviews, I've never seen a kitchen so clean. You can actually eat off the floors. Another hint was all the uh, top part, the stainless steel where all the fumes come out and everything. It's spotless. It looks like it's brand new. Plus the staff here. This is the third time I've been here. They didn't know who I was the first few times. I didn't say anything. They're friendly. They're professional. This is a very inviting restaurant. So I can't say enough. This is just incredible. Then you got the food. So let's just get into that because I'm really excited. Yeah. First one is called the shrimp patty. It's $9. This is a Vietnamese dish. It consisted of fresh bean uh, curd sheets, real thin, it's almost transparent. And what they do is they put a ground shrimp uh, mixture on it. They grind their own shrimp on the, in the house here. Then it's got pepper, garlic, salt, egg whites. They spread it nice and carefully. I mean, it took a while real carefully to put on the bean, on the bean curd sheets. Then what they do is fold it up real nicely. It's gotta be perfect. Then they cut into portion size, they deep fry it, then it's sliced, it's presented on banana leaves, and what you get is a fantastic little dish for an appetizer, it's, it's plentiful for like three people. It's it, inside, we were trying to think how the best way to talk about it. It was kind of, it chews back at you, right? it's the best way of putting it. But it's all shrimp in there, I mean it's real, it's sweet, it's succulent. It's kind of spongy and it's just very savory and has a good fish sauce you dip in. Next came a real treat, that's why I have the bib. It's called a honey walnut lobster. Well, that's actually one of the reasons I have the bib. This is only $23, this is a steal. This is about an eight ounce lobster tail. It's cut, all the meat's taken out. They take a lot of pride in that. Then they cut into pieces, about 12 or more pieces. It's mixed in egg whites. Then it's dredged in potato starch, it's deep fried. They take it out and they coat it and wok with its condensed milk, honey, fish sauce and mayo. And basically the lobster's all, it's, it's crispy lobster walked in that, uh, it's served um, on a plate really nice with broccoli and carrots garnish and then walnuts that are in a sugar bath. So it's not real sweet. Wow. I mean, I've had a lot of renditions of a honey walnut. I've had shrimp, I've had everything else. I've never had lobster. Yeah, I've never had lobster walnut before. And this one is so good. It just, I mean, as you're talking about it, my mouth was watering. <laughs> Next came the Hennessy New York steak, $23. This is another dish that you just don't see anywhere else. This is a 12 ounce New York steak. What they do, they uh, marinate a little bit with black pepper and Hennessy liquor. Then what they do, they make a sauce. It's with shiitake mushrooms, garlic, heavy cream, uh, the Hennessy, and it's uh, green onions. Then they grill the steak so it's nicely prepared with marks on everything. They slice it up, or you can have it whole either way. And then they have a sauce on the side. It's served with rice, and it comes with, uh, I believe, a salad. I think it came with a salad. Yes. Can't remember so much food here. Well, it's nice. It was nice. To, it wasn't real fatty. Had a nice flavor to it. And the Hennessy, the liquor is, you know, it's um, basically cooked out of it. All the alcohol. So what you have is a nice flavor, and it's creamy, rich. This totally reminds me of something my family would make because my family would cook with cognac all the time. So it really has that flavor, rich flavor, but without the alcohol. So it's really complex and the, the sauce is so good. You can drink out of it. It's really good. Next came the shaken filet of beef and shrimp, $25. 
This is a 10 ounce filet mignon. It's, it's uh, cut up in slices. It's, it's cooked in, a, in a hot oil first. So it's all seared really nice in it. Then they get a pan, a wok with butter, onions, garlic. They get the beef that's been cooked already and they ate jumbo shrimp and they saute it and wok with more onions. Then they add an XO sauce, which is a little bit of scallops and dried shrimp. They have all kinds of stuff in it. He wouldn't tell me everything. I, otherwise, we'd open up a restaurant. Secret sauce. Secret sauce, yeah. Then it comes with green onions on top. It's served on a sizzling plate with a little white pepper on top. What's nice, when this comes out to the dining room, that's what got us the smells. It's like a Mexican restaurant, the aromas. And again, how can you go wrong with shrimp and filet mignon? I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah, it's just the smell. It makes you just salivate as you sm hear it sizzling away and the, the steam's coming off it. It's one of those you just want to make you want to eat the entire thing. Then comes the bib. <laughs> they have lobster dishes. This is a live lobster. It's a ginger onion lobster at market value, anywhere from 40 to $50. This is about a two and a half pound live lobster. Now, for those of you that are into PETA or animal rights, you may not want to see this, but trust me, <laughs> the, the lobster gave his life proudly to the restaurant here. It was done quickly, so I want to let you know it wasn't, it was done humanely. Then it was cut up into pieces, dredged in potato starch, then quickly fried in oil. Then they took on another pan, they have Thai uh, basil leaves, butter, ginger, green onions, and white wine, and, they, and a soy based sake sauce along with XO sauce. And then once they get that, they add the, the, the lobster, cut uh, sliced lobsters into that, and then more basil, more green onions, and uh, again, more of the sauce. And now this is very traditional Chinese. No offense, but you love bones. I don't know why Asians love eating bones, but this is the kind of dish you just want to suck on the meat and everything, and you did a good job at it. Yeah, it's really one of those you have to get down dirty. I definitely wouldn't say it's a date food for me. Um, it's something I would probably eat with my friends or with my hands, so you can really get down to all the batter and all the flavor. And again, the ginger and garlic really comes out in the sauce, so uh, very, very tasty. So. Speaking of tasty, we're going to go in the kitchen with, with Chef Richard, one of the owner and probably the main chef here, and we're going to do a special noodle dish. It's a garlic noodle dish with scallops. Mm -mm, yeah. Can't wait. Okay, we're in the kitchen with the owner, Chef Neil and uh, Robert. We're going to make one. This is one of your specialties. My friend Jean Shaw, who's a viewer of ours, told me about the restaurant. She says she comes here every week and has this. So let's talk about this. Is your garlic noodle? Uh, with scallops. Yes, uh, okay. you can uh, choose a different protein. Okay. But this one is a scallop. Okay, let's let's get going. How do you do this, Dalton? Okay. Look at the flame on this thing. Yeah. This is what makes Chinese food so anything is blocked. That's why at home. Uh, this is uh, uh, one hundred and fifty thousand BTU. BTU. Wow. So you put a little bit of oil in it. What kind of oil do you use? Uh, veggie oil. Veggie oil. Okay. And then. I put scalps in first. Yeah, okay. and when sear it. You put them in with such tender love. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You want a food to taste good, you have it made with love. Right, right. And already it's very fast to, to, turn, uh, to change the color. So it sears it on. Yeah, sears okay. it, yeah. And now you put butter? Okay. Butter. Okay. Yeah. Now this is this, garlic. This is more of a Vietnamese style dish. Vietnamese is a big yeah, this is, yeah, this is actually a, a French a coming from the right, French cuisine. Okay, and then you put a bell pepper. Walk everything, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. This is uh, where you put your garlic sauce in it. Okay. What's in the garlic sauce? Uh, it has the uh, olive oil, um, chicken base, of course, garlic, and then uh, some, uh, some uh, oyster sauce. The noodles are already skinned, they're already pretty yeah. cooked. Yeah, uh-huh. It's got a little hot. Yeah. That way it doesn't stick together. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good. Now, if you like garlic, a lot of garlic, yes. you'll put more in. Oh, yes. When people ask for extra garlic, then we'll put extra garlic what in. What is that you're putting in? Uh, this is a Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese, okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And once you got mixed mix really well, and that's the dish is done. Cool. And then we're gonna dish it up. See, some scallops already you broken. 
that. Make sure you get all the garlic from the pan. Yes, <laughs> yes. And then we put a little. Parmesan. Oh, you never see that. In yeah, this Asian is fresh. Yeah, fresh Parmesan cheese. Okay. Voila. Okay, chef. Now comes the absolute best part. You get to try it too. Here. Oh, thank you. Try thank it. you. Go ahead. Be my guest. Go ahead first. first. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a hot plate. It's a nut. Oh, boy. It's silky smooth. Yeah. Very tender. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just enough for the garlic. It has a real fresh aroma of the fresh garlic. Mm. This is why people are crazy about our garlic noodle. Well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, well, thank you. I'm no, glad you so like it. Our food is mm. excellent. Thank so. you. Mm, yum, yum. <laughs> okay, Yuzi. Thank you. This is for you. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Wow, that was an incredible dish. You got to taste a little bit of it. And again, Parmesan cheese at a Chinese restaurant, come on. And it's nice and garlicky. I mean, it's something I would say Alan probably approve. It's really garlicky, has a good kick, but this tender scallops is soft and tender, it's juicy. It's really yummy. And we just say one amazing that during the whole show. We've gotten a lot of feedback on that. So aren't <laughs> you proud of us? So move on. They have traditional Mexican, traditional dishes too. Don't get me wrong. You said traditional Mexican. Okay. Say that again. Yeah, not Mexican, sorry. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the... Almost whacked me in the <laughs> face again. <laughs> Just whacked me in the face by the chest. Okay. You want some uh, wine? I'm fine. Yeah, water. I took too much. Yeah. No, you got uh, agua. Yeah. You got a nice chew to it. That's what I like about this. Mm. Very good. 